So you probably do this all the time as an architect. You go out and measure everything, go to your clients' houses, your your businesses that you're going to be renovating, and first step after talking to your client, getting feedback on what their project goals are, is to actually measure the space. And so I wanted to do a quick video showing you how with the new Canvas app and the new iPad, you can actually use the LiDAR scanner on the iPad, measure out the spaces, and bring those into SketchUp. Um, they have a software that they offer, like a, a service where you can upload these scans to them and they'll create either two-dimensional CAD files or they'll add the uh, visual color to those scans for a little bit cheaper cost or they'll actually take those scans and convert them into a SketchUp uh, 3D model that they'll then send back to you. And every time they you scan a room, you basically need to scan it as one single scan per room. So that can add up to quite a bit of, uh, of scans. So I have actually been working with taking taking the scans and sending them to myself through email. You just basically get like an OBJ file that you can bring in to SketchUp. If you don't have the ability to import OBJ files, just go get the uh, SimLab um, OBJ importer plugin for SketchUp. Go ahead and buy that. I mean, you're buying a, a LiDAR iPad, you might as well buy that plugin allowing you to bring that information into SketchUp. So it'll bring it in to scale and then you gotta just kinda like maneuver it and rearrange it so that all the rooms are lining up fairly um, consistent with each other. They're, uh, they're it's not a perfect thing but what it will do is for your initial meeting when you're going out and what you would normally want to get some measurements you can actually just scan the rooms get a pretty fast layout of the house and then come back in the office and uh, put all that together as opposed to field measuring every single dimension in the field and having to get into so much detail while you're there um, it just gets you kind of back off off the uh, site a little bit faster and kind of out of your clients hair so I, I'm I scanned a whole house in 30 minutes and uh, it worked pretty well so I'm going to um, show you I'll show you what one of the scan rooms looks like here just really fast so this is a uh, this is um, one of the bathrooms on how that scan turns out when you when you do it so you can see it's like all 3d um, you get a lot of detail in there there's some errors and some some things that are wrong with it you can see it uh, when it hits a mirror it kind of gives some weird depth stuff but in general it's got the information you need you can put it in um, in 2d and look at it from the top after you scan suggest doing that that way you get a good understanding of if it captured the room correctly um, so let me sh bring you into the computer and I'll show you what those scans look like when they're all organized together in the computer real quick okay so here we are in SketchUp you can see I've started to box out over the rooms here in red that's what this red is I'm gonna go ahead and hide a couple of these um, that I'm just kind of cleaning up. Their service that they offer basically does um, does this, I believe. I think it's what it's doing is using um, artificial intelligence to basically redraw some of this data. You, and you can see the way the scan app, it gives you some straight lines here to work with um, that you can snap to these uh, straight lines and line things up pretty good and you kind of line things up based on the the door openings and um, some other things so this is just like raw scan data from from the app um, you can see it's kind of you know it's it's kind of messy but you got actual dimensions in here of uh, of the real world 
situation. So I'm going to hide. This is a two-story home. So I've got both floors scanned here. And all this was captured in 30 minutes. So um, it did take me some time to repiece it back together. Um, what I did was I, I, I think this works pretty well, is you start with the staircase because that's going to set um, the two connect the two levels so I started with the lower level staircase and joined that up with um, let me see if there's a perspective I'm going to change the the overview to 50 or something so you can see the staircase at the bottom of the stair is here and um, and then I, I lined that up with the top of the stair here and then started um, building the rooms off of that. But you get all the furniture scanned, basically. So for instance, like this room over here, there's a, um, there is a piano that they have. And so when I was scanning the room, I actually was able to capture the piano. So I have pretty much like a, a scaled version of how big their piano is. And uh, you can tell it's an upright piano. So there's no question about um, how big it's going to be. And then, you know, a lot of clients will ask me to incorporate some piece of furniture that they have, like this, uh, this cabinet here, the China cabinet. You can see you got a pretty good grip on how big this thing would be. You don't have all the like visual model details, so you have to recreate that, but you do have, um, a little bit of information on that, the kitchen and into a little like family dining. So this is all the existing data and I'm going to take this and be able to create some sketches for the client really quickly to give them some ideas on where we could go with this. Even scan the garage. You can see we got the, the cars in the garage and really I was focused on scanning the walls so didn't try to get the scan of the actual cars but you probably could. Uh, you can see they've got like a cabinet mounted here on the wall. Um, shows you rough roughly where doors are and things like that when you do add the when you can pay to have the material added to the mesh and that's like a two or three dollars depending on whether you allow to share the data uh, for research on the app um, that'll, that'll give you a little bit even more information on where windows are and stuff like that because this you can see um, you can tell there's a window there but you you don't know exactly whether this is a curtain hiding some of the window or if it's uh, the f you know the extent of the window frame so having some of the visual um, color data applied to this would help you to figure some of that out and that's what they add when they when they um, when they when you request the CAD information from them they they colorize it and they create a SketchUp model based on that information but you can see you line up the doors and things are things are working pretty well for this scan of this house um, and like I said it's you know fairly accurate you wouldn't want to uh, order countertops based on this scan but you get a good idea and definitely a good idea to be able to recreate the house and then come back out and field verify some uh, dimensions and things like that so very interesting I thought it had uh, some good um, use for architects and I just wanted to share that information so thanks for watching and uh, look forward to seeing the next video